Sa oras nung ito, muli po natin pakanasay ang malakas na kapangyarihan ng Diyos, ang anointed message, full of power na maghahatid sa atin sa tunay na kaligtasan, tumanggap ng himala, maranasan ang kabutihan ng Diyos, dadalhin tayo sa ating high calling and perfect destiny in Christ. I-welcome po natin ang malakas na presensya ng Diyos sa kanyang lingkod na ginamit noon, ginagamit ngayon, at patuloy niya pang gagamitin upang dalhin ang lahat ng tao sa kanyang pinakamataas na katawagan at pinakaperfectong kalagayan sa piling ng ating Panginoon. Wala pong iba ang lingkod ng Diyos, Ricardo D. Carillo. Exercises kindness, justice, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in this I delight, declares the Lord. Sabi ng noon, wag ipagpalaki na marunong ang kanyang karunungan, na malakas ang kanyang kalakasan, o ng payaman ang kanyang kayamanan. Ang ipagpalaki niya ay yung nakikilala niya ako, na uunawain niya ako, ang Panginoon na nagpapatupad ng kabaitan, katarungan, katuwiran sa mundong ibabo na ito, ito ang aking kinalulugdan ang sabi ng Panginoon. At ang napakagandang mensahe ng Diyos sa araw na ito ay pinamagataan. 
boast only in the Lord. Pakisabi, pakimaasa nga po natin. Boast only in the Lord. Ang Panginoon lamang ang ating ipagpalaki o tayo ay pagpalaki lamang sa Panginoon. Maliwanag, maliwanag po ba yun? Ang Panginoon lamang ang ating ipagpalaki o magpalaki lamang tayo sa Panginoon. Glory to God. At uh, mga minamahal, kaya natin yung intro. Natin. Kaya natin yung intro. Yan. Kaya natin. Yan. Saan na yan? Yan. Yan. We can boast. We can boast about who, who we are or what we are doing. But in the end, it's the Lord who will judge us if we are and uh, what we did is acceptable to Him. Kikinig po ho ba tayo? Pwede natin ipagpalaki no? kung sino tayo ngayon at kung ano yung nagawa natin kay Lord. But in the end, it is the Lord who will judge us if uh, we are acceptable to Him. If what we did is acceptable to Him. Nakikinig po ho ba tayo? Ano ang pamagat ng napakagandang mensahe ng Panginoon sa oras na ito? Boast only in the Lord. No? Magpalaki lamang sa Panginoon o ang Panginoon lamang ang iyong ipagmalaki. Tinan natin yun yung ano, yung Jeremiah 9, 23-24. This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches, But let the one who boasts, boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for in this I delight, declares the Lord. Maliwanag po ba yan, mga minamahal? Puntahan natin muli yung intro, ulitin natin muli, para pumasok sa ating mga puso. Ayan, ano ang sabi ni Noon? sa intro po na tayo sa glit. We can boast about who we are or what we are doing. No? But in the end, it, it's the Lord who will judge us if we are and what we did is acceptable to Him. Amen? Sabi ng Matthew chapter 7 verse 1, judge not because we have only one judge and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. We will be judged in the end of the world. It is the Lord who will commend us if uh, what we did and if we are kung tayo po ay acceptable to Him. If we are acceptable to Him. Nakikinig po po ba tayo? Amen po ba? Kung malapak na sa galit yung bawat isa. Amen. Number one, anong sabi ng Biblia? In the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 1.31 1 Corinthians 1.31 says 1 Corinthians 1.31 says Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Ito, direktahan na, no? Apostle Paul declares directly that let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Direktahan na ito. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Sabi ka noon sa unang Corinto 1.31, kung meron ka ipagmamalaki, ang ipagmalaki mo ay ang Panginoon. Amen? Hindi natin dapat ipagmalaki ang ating mga nagawa o ating kalagayan ngayon o ang ating narating na ipagmalaki natin ang Panginoon. We must not boast who we are what we did and what we are doing. But we must boast. If we, if we will boast, let us boast only the Lord. Or let us boast in the Lord. Amen. Alakpakan natin ang Panginoon. First Corinthians. Amin ang alakpak natin. Give the Lord the best clap of praise. Yan. At anong kasunod? Yan. Yan. Sa number two, tignan natin yung number two. Yan, ang ganda. No? We do not dare 
to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves what they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves they are not wise no maliwanag ba yan ulit natin muli we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves when they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves they are not wise so we should not compare ourselves to others Amen sabi mo sa katabi mo huwag mo ikumpara ang sarili mo sa iba we must not compare ourselves to others we must not say that the Tagloban people, that the people in Tagloban, that the, the people in Leyte, the people in Aklan, in Capiz, in Cebu City, and, and the other Visayan provinces that are affected by typhoon, we must not say that they are sinners. That's why they were hit by super typhoon. Amen. Matapa ho ba rito? Huwag nating sabihin no? na mas masama kaysa sa atin yung mga takloban, taga-takloban, kaya sila nabagyo. Hello? Matapa ho ba rito? We must not be judgmental. No? We must not say, oh, the reason why the, the people in Takloban, in Leyte, in Akla, in Capiz, in Cebu City, the reason why they, they were hit by uh, storm surge, why they were hit by super typhoon, it's because they were sinners. No, we must not say that. Amen? Amen. Only God knows our hearts. Amen? Amen? Only God can judge us. Amen? We should not judge them. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Hindi natin sila dapat uskahan. Amen. May tao pa ba? No. Eh, baka sabihin natin, kasi yung mga, ma ma mga tao sa Aklan, masasama kasi yun eh. Yung mga tao kasi sa Kapis, masasama kasi yun. Yung mga tao kasi sa Leyte, masasama kasi yun. Yung mga tao kasi sa Cebu, eh, masasama kasi yun. Eh, marami rito kumaatin, taga-Leyte, taga-Sama, taga-Takloban, taga-Kapis, I myself came from Kapis. No? And we should not judge that the reason why these provinces were hit by super typhoon, these provinces were hit by storm surge, no? It's because they were sinners. They are sinners, no? We must not uh, judge them, amen? And we must not com com compare ourselves to them. Masasabihin natin, eh, kasi mababait kami, di ba? Kaya kami hindi na bagyo, amen? May tao pa ho ba rito? Ano sa masagot? We must not say that, oh, I'm kind, I'm good. That's why I was not hit by super typhoon. No? Pero alam niyo ba na, minsan may kasabihan nga eh, kung sino pa yung mabait, madali bang namamatay eh, di ba? Yung masamang laburo eh, matagal mamatay. No? Kaya tao pa ho ba rito? So, don't compare our righteousness to others. Don't compare our righteousness to others. We must say that we are righteous, no? And the others are uh, not righteous, no? Pero hindi ganoon. May tao pa ba dito? Only God can judge us. No? Alam mo sa banal na kasulatan, in the book of Amos, no? There was a word, uh, there is a word, uh, plumb line. Pakisabi plumb line. Ano ba yung plumb line? No? It is used by a carpenter, a measurement, a measuring uh, uh, device used by carpenter. Upang uh, malaman kung pantay o hindi, nakikinig po ho ba tayo? No? Plumb line is a measuring device used by carpenter no? to check no? whether the measurement is right or good or equal. Yeah. And God has his, has his own measuring device to check our righteousness. We must not check our righteousness by the righteousness of others. 
Nakikinti pa ba, ba kayo? Nakikinti pa ba yun? <laughs> so, hindi mo pwedeng sukati ang pagiging matuwid mo sa pagiging matuwid ng iba. Nakikinti pa ba, ba tayo? Amen. Only God no, can judge us no, if our righteousness is acceptable to Him. Okay? In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter, tapos na yan, no? O, again, again, let us read again. 2 Corinthians 10, 12. We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves when they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves. They are not wise. May tao pa ho ba rito? Ito yung mga makasariling tao eh. These are the selfish no, persons. No? They are comparing their righteousness with their own righteousness. Or they are judging their righteousness according to their own judgment. Na, nakikinig pa ba tayo? So tingnan natin yung verse sa 17 and 18. Tingnan natin. Unlike so many, we do not... Uh, they, they, chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 17 hanggang 18 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 17 hanggang 18 Okay? And let us read But let him who boasts boast in the Lord Again, no? These words, no? This, this sentence were uh, repeat, no? repeated again, no? But let him who boasts boast in the Lord, no? Nabasa natin yan sa unang Corinto Jesus 31. We can read also the sentence in the book of 1 Corinthians 10.13. And again, in 2 Corinthians 10.17, no? Mababasa natin muli, we can read again, let him who boasts, boast in the Lord. No? Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Apag ang mga salita o ang mga sentence o ang mga praise, praise ay inuulit-ulit, it means meron siyang diin, no? Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? The Bible is uh, at is uh, emphasizing, no? That let him who boast, boast in the Lord. Verse 18, 2 Corinthians 10, 18. For it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. Napakaganda nito. Yan. For it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. No. 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 Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? No. Ibig sabihin, who will judge us in the end? If we are approved, the Lord. Amen. No. We cannot judge our neighbors. No? Only God can judge if we are approved to Him. Kaya naman in the book of 2nd, no? 2nd Timothy, no? the Bible says, no? ang sabi kayo noon, no? pag-aralan mo ang banal na kasulatan, no? that you may find yourself approved unto God. The Bible says, and 2 Timothy 2.15, study the scriptures well that you may find yourself approved unto God. Study the scriptures well that you may find yourself approved unto God. The Bible, the Bible, the holy writings, the scriptures will help us to become a better person. To become a better a person of God. Not just a better person, but a better, a good person, a better person of God. Amen po ba? Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Okay, basahin natin muli. For it is not the one who commends himself, who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. For it is not the one who commends himself, who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. Nakikinig pa ko pa tayo. Ibig sabihin niya, uh, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, Uy, aprobado ako. No? Di ba sa bawat paligsahan, merong judge? 
right? In every competition, there is a judge or there are judges, right? And this judge or judges, diba? No? They will judge who no? is the winner, right? No? It's not, no? Yung, it's, hindi yung mga contestant, nakikinig pa ba tayo? It's not the contestants that will judge themselves, but the judge or the judges will judge the contestants. Tama po ba? Nakikinig pa ba tayo? Students, may students pa rito, taas na kamay. No? Sino ang nagbibigay ng grade po? Students who will give you grades, you or your teacher, your teacher. So be good to your teacher, <laughs> so that your teacher will give you nice grade. Amen. Are you listening? Be good to your teacher. Study well, diba? So that your teacher will give you good grades. Get no. things of yours. Be good to God. Amen. Be good to God. He studies at the scripture well. And God will give you good grades. Sino ito ang gusto makatanggap ng ano, mataas na grado, taas na kamay? Sino ito gusto makataas na, makatanggap ng mataas na grade? Na grade? Uh, taas na kamay. Do you want to receive good grades from God? Then, lift up your hand. Higher to God. Maybe God, I want to receive good grades. Ito ang pa ba dito? So, sino ang nagbibigay sa atin ng, ng good grades? Ng, ng, ng mataas na marka? Sino? Ang Diyos. Kaya ang sabi ng Biblia, study the Bible well. Study to show thyself a proof unto God. A workman needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Study, that is the scripture, to show thyself, a proven to God, a workman, needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, kinakailangan po ay papag-aralan natin ang gusto ang banal na kasulatan. Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, next verse, basahin natin. Anong sabi niya noon? In the book of Luke 18, verse 9 to 14. Luke 18, 9 to 14. To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Again, to some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Ito raw ay para sa mga mapagmataas. Sinabi ni Jesus Cristo ang parabola ng ito sa mga natutulog. <laughs> sa mga mapagmataas. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? God, Jesus, told this parable to those who are looking down on everyone else. Verse 10, two men went up to the temple to pray. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One a Pharisee, a religious leader, and a tax collector, a sinner. In the Bible, tax collector, tax collector considered sinner or sinners. Tax collectors considered sinners. Nagiging pa ba kayo? Tax collectors considered sinners. Pharisee, it means a religious leader. Yeah, a religious one. One having a religion. Not just having a religion, but uh, an officer, a religious leader. A leader. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I'm not like other people. Ito na. God, I thank you that I am not like other people. Robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. Tinuro pa niya yung ano eh, yung tax collector, no? no? He pinpoint the tax collector and he said, 
No? Even like this tax collector, I'm not, I'm not like, like this tax collector. He is saying that I am not a sinner like this tax collector. Amen po ba? Pwede tayong magmalak ngayon eh. Pwede tayong magmayama ngayon eh. Oo, yan na po, natali yung mga taga-takno po na yun. Mga taga-asamor na yun. Mga masasamay ang kapisayan ngayon eh. Magbuti na lang ilumana ako. Mukha pang pangan ako. May tao pa ako ngayon. Amen? No? No? Ikinig po ba tayo? Again, let us repeat. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. He compared himself to the tax collector. And he is saying that I am not sinner like this tax collector. Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? No. Amen. Para sa mga natutulog, para sa inyo itong mensaheng ito. Okay? Verse 12. I pass twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. You could see that uh, he is not just uh, praying, but he is also fasting. No? He is not just giving his offering, but he, he is giving his time. Oh, I tell you. May tao pa ba rito? He's not just praying, but he is also fasting. He's not just uh, giving his offering, but he is giving his time. And the Bible says, and give a tenth of all I give. Nakikinig pa ba tayo rito? Faithful siya. Pakasabi, faithful. Faithful tither. Eh, marami ang Christian, hindi faithful eh. No? Tuloy natin, verse 13 hanggang verse 14. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven. Tumayo siya. No? Hindi nga siya makatingin sa Diyos eh. Hindi siya makalook up, look up. Hindi. Dapat happy ka, bawal ang sad, hindi niya magawa. Talagang sad siya, hindi siya happy. The Bible says, the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven. Hiyang hiya siya. He is so ashamed to look to heaven. Hiyang hiya siya. No. But beat his breast, kinabog niya yung dibdib niya. Tarsan. <laughs> kinabog niya yung dibdib niya. Parang tarsan. But beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. God, have mercy on me, a sinner. No. Verse 14, I tell you that this man, rather than the other, I tell you that this tax collector, rather than the Pharisee, went home justified before God. Nagiginig pa ba tayo? For all those who exalt themselves will be humble, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Akala ng parisi, yung kanyang ginawa katanggap-tanggap sa Diyos. The parisi thought that what he did is acceptable to God. But we can read in verse uh, 14 that Oo. Ano saan tayo? Verse 14. No? Ano saan ko rito? I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. No? It means God was pleased to what the tax collector did. No? Rather than what the Pharisees did. No? Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Ano ang ginawa ng tax collector? Ano ang ginawa niya? May tao ba rito? Yung mga nasa likuran. Yung mga kumakagat ng buko. Anong ginawa ng tax collector? Ha? Ano po? Bakit niya tinagawin yung tip-tip niya? Siya po ay? Nagsisisig humihingi na? Tawad. 
the tax the tax collector is repenting from his sins. He is admitting that he is a sinner. He is not hiding his sins. Amen. Amen. He is admitting that he is a sinner. He is not hiding his sins. He is not comparing him. He said to others. But before God, he is admitting that he is a sinner. God have mercy on me. I am a sinner. Alam mo ba na ito ang mga pumunta ng langit? Ito ang katangian ng mga tao pumunta ng langit na umaamin na sila'y mga baka. Salamat. Religious persons will not go to heaven. Only those who have repentant hearts, they will be the one to go to heaven. Amen? They will go to heaven. Being religious, no, is not a process to go to heaven. What God wants us is to repent and renounce all our sins. Repent and renounce all our sins. And the tax collector did is he admit, no, he admitted that he is a sinner. He admits that he is a sinner. God have mercy on me. I am a sinner. Nakikinig po ho ba tayo? Alam mo yung mga nagpa-slide? Yung mga naghahanap ng restoration? Yung gustong makabalik? Yung gustong pumasok ng langit? Isa lang ang dapat gawin eh. Isa lang ang dapat gawin. Magsisi ng kasalanan. Yes! Aminin mo lang talaga. Lord, nagpul ako eh. Lord, nagkasala ako. Pinaligaw ko yung bisyo ko eh. Aminin mo lang. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? It's easy to go to get to get to heaven. Just admit that we are sinners. That's it. Practice and we will go to heaven. Amen. Palakpakan natin sa Lord. So we give the Lord the best blood of praise. Napakadali mo masok ng langit, di ba? It's easy to go to heaven. 